Hey friends, welcome to another edition of Bike Bike TV. If you're ever in Calgary on a visit and uh, love riding bikes, you should absolutely make sure you get your hands on a bicycle and do the loop around the Glenmore Reservoir. It's an absolute classic here in Calgary. And the reservoir is fed by the Elbow River, which comes out of the mountains and is dammed at the Glenmore Dam, which gives Calgary its drinking water. And uh, the loop around the reservoir has a couple of pretty cool features along the way. One is the Weaselhead Natural Area, which is at the far west end of the, uh, of the loop. And another one is the uh, Heritage Park um, amusement park, basically, or kind of an attraction. And it's just across the reservoir from me here. Uh, Heritage Park has some has some restaurants and bathrooms, but if you're a history buff and uh, you're uh, interested in kind of Calgary's and Alberta's history, it's it's worth checking out. It's a pretty cool spot for kids and adults alike. So let's suit up and let's go for a bike ride. around the reservoir is approximately 16 kilometers just just the entirety of the loop around the reservoir and um, there are quite a few places uh, if you were needing to drive here where you can park adjacent to the pathway and unload your bikes and off you go alternately if you live anywhere near the reservoir there's a lot of different ways to attach to it there's pathways connecting to it all the way around so um, bust out the old pathway map and you can get yourself over here. I don't know if you can see it behind me is uh, is the Weaselhead Natural Area down there. And uh, we'll be heading over there in a minute. And, um, and then the Elbow River is behind us. It's quite a beauty spot here. Thank you. 
actually stay out. Not too many birds chirping right now, but still pretty nice. We were just checking out uh, the beaver pond there, which you have seen in the video. And um, one of the fun parts of the reservoir ride is uh, on the south side. If you're so inclined to ride dirt trails, um, there's some old uh, horse um, trails that are on the south side of the reservoir, which you can see kind of braiding off of the pathway um, on the south side here and there. <clears throat> They're really fun when they're dry um, and uh, almost any bike can kind of go through there. Pretty chill but really uh, kind of just a bit of a change and kind of fun. So we're going to go check those trails out right now. So let's go. side here the reservoir by the uh, the Glenmore Sailing Club so when you get to this point there's um, depending on the season there's two options one would be a, a pathway that takes you um, kind of keeps you up above the water's edge and then another one would take you down towards the uh, the edge of the reservoir um, but today we're gonna take the top route because the bottom route is really wet and apparently it's pretty icy down there so we'll hit that another time so today we're gonna stay on the top side Thank 
Detroit Heritage Park. So this is a great little spot if you needed to uh, pop into a washroom or grab a snack. There's a little cafe behind me in the uh, old rail station there. And uh, it's usually most open most of the time. Some of the other businesses around here are gonna be closed unless it's uh, perhaps a weekend or the park is open. So a uh, great little spot to relax, catch a little munchie and uh, continue on your way. All right. Let's keep on rolling. So nice out here. This is an absolute classic. If you are coming in the off season, beware, it can be very icy at the, at the west end through the weasel head, so come prepared. Otherwise, thanks for joining me on the bike ride. Be sure to pop over to the rest of our routes. You'll find them on our website. And we'd really appreciate it if you'd give our videos a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you've done this route before and you have any other suggestions on how to make this ride better, please leave a note for us in the comments. Happy trails.